I'm going to concentrate purely on the web email service at the moment. I'm going to show you how to get into that. So initially, shortly, we're going to send you your login details. But first, we'll give you instruction on what to do. So if you open up your browser, which can be any browser, we'll be using Internet Explorer here, but you'll notice home page is Google. But if we click open a, a new tab and type in the address, which is HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash portal dot Microsoft online dot com. Uh, the best thing to do is actually bookmark uh, that or in this instance we're going to include it when the browser opens. So that was internet options and if you just click use current you'll see it adds in that tab. Click apply and ok so when we open it next time it will come to these two screens. So we need to log in for this purpose we are going to use our own test account. So we just uh, do it from scratch. Password. And you'll notice we log straight into the, the portal. So there's a few different options and we'll go into those a little bit later, but for now we're just looking at the web email. So we look at the top and you'll see sensor which is Microsoft Outlook. So if we click into Microsoft Outlook, and that's it, we're straight into our email service. So as you would with any other email service, you simply Click on new. So we'll just do a test email to start with. Our email is testing, although it's already in, I'll carry on typing, testing at 365cloudit.com. We'll subject in, testing. And you'll notice that there's no signature or anything in there, and we'll come to that in a minute, so that's uh, set up for you. So you can just click send. And you'll notice it pops up straight away. Then if we just click into it, you see the email, we can reply, reply to all if there's multiple emails, forward, etc. Okay, so if we want to add a signature to all of our email sites, so saves a bit of time, you can move across to options, and then you'll click on see all options. Again, there's a few different settings, but we'll just concentrate on this for now, so click on settings, and then you'll see mail and email signature. So if we just put client kind of regards test email three six five cloud and then we've got a tick box to automatically include my signature on messages that I send. Well, that's what we want to do. And click save and go back to my email. So next time when we click new. We'll see we've got our signature already in place. Okay, now you're going to get a lot of emails, I'm sure. So if you want to organize your emails, you can create little folders as part of the inbox. So again, back to options. And then create an inbox rule. So we're straight into inbox rules. So if you click on new. And then it's just a straightforward drop down boxes. So there's a few different things you can choose, but for this purpose, if we click on, it includes these words in the subject. So if we said testing, and we add that, click OK, and then do, what do we need it to do? So we want it to move it to a message folder, click on that. We want to add a new folder in the inbox, or testing. Just highlight it and click OK. Save that. We'll go back to my mail. So now, when we send, we'll send it to ourselves, but when you receive an email with that in the subject line, it'll move it straight to the relevant folder. So we just send it says testing. Send that. Now you'll notice up here, unread email. Now if you click on the little arrow next to inbox, you'll see the folder we created and the new email is sat in there. So you can do that an infinite amount of times so you can 
organize all your emails so you know what you've got from uh, from all your varying sources okay so again options if you want to set automatic replies you're on holiday on a flight etc you can set automatic replies so we can click don't send any automatic replies or we can send them and set our varying times so I'm going to do that for today we want to do it now so we go back to 11 o'clock so from now till Tuesday the 12th of June it will uh, send automatic replies to anyone who sends us an email and you can type in anything you want here Let's see if we save that okay go back to my email I'm going to send ourselves another email. So once you send one to the user, it brings it back up, so you don't have to keep typing that out. So I'm going to send testing again. Send. So you'll see the email list is growing. Of course, the first one is just sending the email. The second one is just showing whoever sends the email that you are now away on holiday and who to contact. And uh, that's it for now.